So what kind of constitutes joint stiffness? It could be a decrease in your joint space, um, either a thinning of a cartilage around a, a bone. Um, it could be a decreased um, height of a meniscus in, per se, like your knee. It could be decreased disc space in your spine, and it could be um, decrease or degeneration of your labrum in your hip or your shoulder. So when there's decreased joint space and there's not any of that cushioning that I just discussed with you, the bones kind of get closer together and they may rub and that may cause some stiffness. Um, amongst other things, um, crepitus, um, which is that funky noise you might hear in a joint that doesn't necessarily mean it's painful, but you can hear it in an auditory kind of popping. Um, sometimes there's an increased fluid in the space. Um, it could be um, just due to inflammation in the joint space. Um, some people even have it post-surgery, like if you're coming to therapy and you're after having after a surgery like a knee replacement or a hip replacement, um, there's active inflammation, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. There's, it's a good thing, but the problem is with all that swelling in there, the joint is kind of tighter, so it's harder to move throughout a certain range of motion. Um, and as the swelling goes down, then the stiffness kind of relieves itself a little bit, and then you're able to move a little bit better. Um,